finding the gradient of y is equal to x squared. Consider the graph shown near. The equation of the curve is y is equal to x squared. P is a point on the curve whose x coordinate is x. The y coordinate is obtained from the equation of the curve, which says that you square the x coordinate, so that's x squared. Now, if x increases by a small change delta x, y will correspondingly increase by a small change delta y, producing another point chu, whose x coordinate is now given by x plus the increment delta x. And the y coordinate, according to the equation of the curve, is that you square the x coordinate. So that's the x coordinate of chu, x plus delta x squared. So if we join p and chu, we form a chord, and that's chord p chu. So we have p as x, x squared, and chu as x plus delta x, then x plus delta x squared, the y coordinates of chu. So according to our previous notation, that's x1, y1, x2, y2. So the gradient of P2 grad P2 will be given by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 according to the previous formula. And that will be x plus delta x squared plus y2 minus y1 which is x squared over x2 is x plus delta x minus x. So if we expand the bracket, that will be x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared minus x squared over the denominator we are left with delta x. So x squared cancels with x squared leaving us with 2x delta x plus delta x squared all over delta x. So we can factorize out delta x, leaving us with 2x plus delta x over delta x. Delta x cancels with delta x, giving us 2x plus delta x. Okay. So if you can rotate the code P2 in a clockwise direction, in that sense, about the point P, so as shown, the point Q will travel along the curve if the code is rotated around P. So delta x is decreasing towards zero. So we said delta x tends towards zero. And actually, delta y also is decreasing. So point Q travels towards point P. And the code is actually becoming the tangent at point P. Delta x is reducing to zero. So at point P itself, the code becomes the tangent at that point as delta x is turning to zero. So that's how it's, it moves. So code P2 becomes the tangent at P. So we're going to say that as delta x tends to zero, Grad P2 will be given by 2x plus, now delta x has become 0. And the gradient of code P2 becomes 
2x. So we say that 2x is a going function of y is equal to x squared.